wasn't more evident since last week in my previous video that Gina Carano was gaining massive support, and of course, uh, continuing on her with her career, especially with a new gig with uh, uh, the Daily Wire, and with, of course, Disney and Lucasfilm going down the toilet because of this, this week should, should have made that more obvious, because this week... Uh, Kathleen Kennedy, who happens to be the president of Lucasfilm, still can't believe she's she is still that way. Although hopefully, uh, in in the next coming months, her contract will just be up, and then she will be out out of it. And hopefully, hopefully, someone better would come out in her place, either John Favreau or Dave Filoni. But continuing on, uh, she was supposed she was supposed to present the 2021 Scientif Scientific and Technical Awards. And she actually really she released a video on the Oscars YouTube tube, YouTube channel, which I will make sure you guys see in the description below. Already before I made this video, a lot of YouTubers were just diving deep in just the craziness of this video. What, what I mean is, it was so heavily ratioed, so many dislikes. Versus likes. I, I think it was about uh, 100 likes while there was at least uh, 1,500 dislikes. Just on that video alone. Maybe a, maybe even a little bit more. But you can't. But unfortunately, I cannot confirm that because the Oscars decided to disable their like to dislike ratio as well as the comments. Because, of course, in the comments... They were actually pointing out the the hypocrisy of Kathleen Kennedy because in her message, she was specifically talking about the all these major achievements ma made by women. And and don't get me wrong, they they are major achievements. But the but the fact that it's coming from this woman, who just several weeks ago decided to fire Gina Carano, who played Cara Dune in The Mandalorian, and and is one of the um major. One of the major actresses that have actually managed to gain a lot of money to Lucasfilm and Disney. It, it already, already, a lot, a lot of people just are not liking that. They are seeing the hypocrisy. Especially with the fact that, um, as I said before in my previous video, Pedro Pascal, who has said much worse things, much, much offensive things, much more offensive things on Twitter to Gina Carano, and he's still in Lucasfilm. He's still employed. He had a he had a tweet where he just basically compared Trump supporters to Nazis and Confederates, and it, and again he's still still employed. There's so much wrong with Lucasfilm that it's just staggering. And all and all, thankfully, a lot of people have. A lot of people have actually continued on with this fight to get their voices heard. In several of the other videos that uh, have been released by the Oscars, they have continued to talk about this same thing. And they have been heavily downvoted. Honestly, I, I don't... I actually... I honestly don't believe that the Oscars... Uh, this is off topic, I know, but... I don't believe the Oscars have the supposedly 1.9 million subscribers, while they are only gathering, at most, uh, a few thousand views. <laughs> the, the again, the their highest current, high, her, their highest recent video is the Kathleen Kennedy message, and again, it was heavily downvoted before they did, took down the ratio. Already, Disney and Lucasfilm should uh, should have already gotten the message by now, and I'm 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 not surprised that, and I wouldn't be surprised if behind the scenes there's already so much chaos as a result. They obviously did not expect this major amount of backlash from Gina Carano, but they were wrong. They were one hundred percent wrong, and already a lot of people have showed their receipts that they decided to cancel Disney Plus as a result. Because, after all, why the hell would you want to support a company that hates you? It, wouldn't, it would not make any sense that's whatsoever if you actually did do something like that. But now, with uh, as, as a result, aside from the um, situation with the Oscars, 
there has just been a lot of flag giving flag against Gina Caron, or specifically from the uh, shill media, because they have been trying to uh, get on the side of Disney because of court because of course they do. They're big, they're activists, not really true investigative journalists. Hell, in on the Independent, they actually said that Gina Carano, specifically on her Twitter feed, called for a can, can, called for the cancellation of Disney Plus. And of course, they also added in that the entire idea was ridiculed. First of all, Gina Carano never said that. She had never said that. You can just look on her Twitter feed, which I'm pretty sure is still up. Which I'm pretty sure her Twitter feed is still up. And if you just scroll down, like maybe for a few minutes, you can see she never made such a thing. It, it probably just came from some random, u random Twitter user, and it just took off from there. It just gained that much traction and support. Again, for obvious reasons. And secondly, it was not ridiculed. The entire idea that the D Cancel Disney Plus being, is being ridiculed is just ridiculous. After all, why are you making... Why is everyone making this much fuss over it? I I'm not just talking about uh, YouTubers who are obviously m making comments about this. Hell, I'm making comments about this as well, so I'm not, gui I'm, I'm not guiltless on that. But the... But the shill media, shill media is obviously making this, it's obviously pointing this out. Especially from, again, in the independent is obviously pointing out. How is it supposedly, again, completely mocked? And, and let's not forget, by, by the way, yesterday, last week's video where Gina, where as a result of Gina Carano's firing, Disney stock fell by 36%. I actually, I said before, Said that it was subscriptions to Disney Plus. I apologize. I messed that up. But again, if you want to look at the quartering and his video on that, and even uh maybe another a recent video regarding the situation with Gina Carano, I will put that in the description be below for you guys. Uh, but yeah, it's Disney is in a rock and a hard place at this point, and I don't know how they can get out of this. To be completely honest with you, I still stand by my uh, belief that I hope to God that uh, Gina Carano does return as uh, Cara Dune. However, I do think that she should honestly. Uh, what would, what would be the best way to um best way to say this? Uh, make Disney her bitch. Or, or make Lucasfilm and Disney her bitch. Because after all, they were ju they have been very <laughs> hypocritical in the way they apply their standards within the company. And, I, I mean, after all, this is what's how... I mean, Gina Carano is in this situation because of them. Hell, as it turned out just several days ago, Gina Carano was not even... Told that she was fired. She found out the same time as everyone else. She wasn't told whatsoever to her face. And honestly, that's low, even for Disney and Lucasfilm. You have to be extremely petty and cowardly for that to occur. But, again, it, again, as a result of this, I do not see how Disney and Lucasfilm may come up. I'm pretty sure... All this is going to do is just further. It's just going to further put down Lucas, put down Lucasfilm, and probably destroy a lot of their a lot of these projects as a result. And I and guess who's pissed at this? John Favreau. I don't know about the situation with with Dave Filoni, but I'm pretty sure he's also angry as well because Cara Dune was a character created by John Favreau. He picked. He picked. Gina Carano, as a result, he made the character specifically for Gina Carano. And now, with her, with her being fired as a result, and of course, with with a lot of these projects in possible jeopardy, with a lot of people losing subscriptions and no longer going to watch The Mandalorian, thus giving giving Disney money, yeah, no, 
I, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he get, is pissed. I would not be surprised, which is, again, why I believe that John Favreau is the best best person to lead the lead Lucasfilm. Not Kathleen Kennedy, certainly not certainly not uh uh Pedro Pascal. I, I know he's he's an actor, but still I'm just trying to prove my prove my point. He is the visionary. He's the one who can lead Lucasfilm to greatness and Star Wars to greatness. I just don't see how the hell Disney has to figure that out yet. But there's also, but there's more. Potentially. Because this upcoming Sunday, Gina Carano is going to be, there, there's going to be a release of an interview with Ben Shapiro and interviewing, Ke, Ke, sorry, interviewing Gina Carano. And I'm just wondering what's going to, what's going to contain in that uh, interview. It will definitely be interesting because in one of their clips, Gina Carano specifically said that she was not the only one who's being bullied by this company. I want to know how they're being, how these people are being bullied, and who they're being, who they're bu being bullied. This is not going to be good PR whatsoever for again Disney or Lucasfilm. Certainly not for Kathleen Kennedy, who's doing her, her best to just ruin everything. Hell, they, she hell she even officially, at least uh, from what I understand, a fit confirmed that uh, Ryan Johnson's trilogy is still being made. How is that even possible after four years? After four years of limbo, this on and off situation. How is and of course the the fact that Star Wars fans are are honestly very uh. Vin I, I wouldn't say vindictive, just, but more uh, antagonistic towards Ryan Johnson. How do they? Th how does she think that that continuing to have Ryan Johnson on board is a good idea? Honestly, I don't think she does think it's a good idea. It's just a, a way to troll the troll Star Wars fans and just anyone else, and just to just to deploy her message. Star just Star Wars is just being used for that, and I think that this all this is going to do. It's just it's just going to screw over Kathleen Kennedy. At least that's my hope. Because again, Lucasfilm needs better leadership. I believe John Favreau is that man, and I believe that as a res I, I hope as a result with this firing and with potentially new thing new things in this new interview with Ben Shapiro, that potentially that may occur. That potentially Lucasfilm may get their craft together, make some good, make some good films again, and actually be ver be committed to the committed to making the Star Wars universe a fun place. I really hope that's the case, because right now Lucasfilm and Disney are in heavy trouble. My name is Owen Meehan on the Art Truth. Please post your comments down below, like this video, subscribe, and share, share with your friends. Also, in, also, if you guys have any issues of how I speak or anything that I should work on or, uh, in, or in terms of how I frame my videos, what, whatever that comes into your mind, please put them down in the comment section below or directly message me. Thank you.